Leviticus 23, verse 1. And Yahuwah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concern the feast of Yahuwah, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. The Passover. Feast of first fruits. Feast of weeks. Feast of blowing of trumpets. Day of Atonement. Feast of Tabernacle. And the New Moon. Are we still required to keep the feast days? Exodus 12, verse 14. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And ye shall keep it a feast to Yahuwah throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Memorial, something designed to preserve the memory of a person, event, etc. As a monument or holiday. Exodus 12, verse 17. And ye shall observe the Feast of Unleavened Bread. For in this selfsame day I have brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. It is a night to be much observed unto Yahuwah for bringing them out of the land of Egypt. This is that night of Yahuwah to be observed of all the children of Israel in their generations. Exodus 13 verse 6 Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shall be a feast to Yahuwah. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which Yahuwah did unto me when I came forth out of Egypt, and it shall be for a sign unto thee upon thine hand, and for a memorial between thine eyes, that Yahuwah's law may be in thy mouth. For with a strong hand hath Yahuwah brought thee out of Egypt, thou shalt therefore keep this ordinance in his season from year to year. Leviticus 23 verse 9 and Yahuwah spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest, and he shall wave the sheaf before Yahuwah to be accepted for you. On the morrow after the Sabbath the priest shall wave it, and ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ear, until the selfsame day that ye have brought an offering unto your Elohim. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations, in all your dwellings. Leviticus 23, verse 15. And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Sabbath, from the day that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths shall be complete, even unto the morrow after the Sabbath shall ye number fifty days, and ye shall offer a new meat offering unto Yahuwah. Ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tent deals, they shall be of fine flour. They shall be baked with leaven. They are the first fruits unto Yahuwah. And ye shall proclaim on the selfsame day that it may be a holy convocation unto you. Ye shall do no servile work therein. It shall be a statue forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when ye reap the harvest of your land, thou shalt not make a clean riddance of the corners of thy field when thou reapest. Neither shalt thou gather any gleaning of thine harvest. Thou shalt leave them unto the poor and to the stranger. I am Yahuwah, your Elohim. Sabbath Feast Days Exodus 31 verse 16 Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations, for a perpetual covenant. Leviticus 26 verse 2 Ye shall keep my Sabbaths, and reverence my sanctuary. I am Yahuwah. Day of Atonement Memorial of blowing the trumpets Feast of first fruits Are all Sabbath days. The Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, Feast of First Fruits, Feast of Tabernacles. No servile work was to be done on these feast days. Where is the scripture that says these feast days are no longer Sabbath days? 
Some people believe we no longer have to keep the feast days because we no longer sacrifice animals. But what they don't realize is that every seventh day Sabbath required two lambs to be sacrificed. Numbers 28 verse 9. And on the Sabbath day, two lambs of the first year without spot and two tent deals of flour for a meat offering mingled with oil and a drink offering thereof. This is the burnt offering of every Sabbath besides the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. If you keep the seventh day Sabbath without sacrificing animals, why can't you keep the feast days also? Hosea 6 verse 6 For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and knowledge of Yahuwah more than burnt offerings. Proverbs 15 verse 8 The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to Yahuwah, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. Isaiah 1 verse 11 To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith Yahuwah? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and of the fat-fed beasts. I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who hath required this at your hand to tread my courts? Bring no more vain obligations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moon and sabbaths, the calling of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Does the Most High hate the observance of the Sabbath and feast days? Hosea 2 verse 11 I will also cause all her mirth to seize, her feast days, her new moons, her Sabbaths, and all her solemn feasts. Isaiah 1 verse 14 Your new moons and your appointed feast days my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. Why did the Most High say he hates our Sabbaths, our solemn assembly, our new moons, and our feast days? Isaiah 5 verse 12 And the harp, and the vial, and the tabret, and pipe, and wine are in their feasts, but they regard not the work of Yahuwah, neither consider the operations of his hands. Isaiah 1 verse 4 A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken Yahuwah, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backward. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick, the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and petrifying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Verse 15, And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you, yea, when ye make many prayers, I will not hear it. Your hands are full of blood. Isaiah 1 verse 21 how is the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. Thy silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water, thy prince are rebellious, the champions of thieves, every one loveth gifts, and falleth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither do it the cause of the widow come to them. What else does he hate when you are evil? Proverbs 28 verse 9 he that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. First Peter 3 verse 12 For the eyes of Yahuwah are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of Yahuwah is against them that do evil. Lamentations 2 verse 5 Yahuwah was an enemy. He had swallowed up Israel. He had swallowed up all her palaces. He had destroyed his strongholds, and hath increased the daughter of Judah, mourning and lamentation. And he hath violently taken away his tabernacle, as if it were a garden. He hath destroyed his places of the assembly. Yahuwah hath caused the solemn feasts and Sabbaths to be forgotten in Zion. He hath despised in the indignation of his anger the king and the priests. Yahuwah hath cast off his altar, he hath abhorred his sanctuary, he hath given up into the hand of the enemy the walls of her palaces, they had made a noise in the house of Yahuwah, as in the day of a solemn feast. Yahuwah hath purposed to destroy the wall of the daughter of Zion, he hath stretched out a line, he hath not withdrawn his hand from destroying, therefore he hath made the rampart and the wall to lamb it, they languish together. Her gates are sunk into the ground. He hath destroyed and broken her bars. Her king and her prince are among the Gentiles. The law is no more. Her prophets also find no vision from Yahuwah. What does he want us to do before we pray, keep the Sabbath, the new moon, 
feast days, and call a solemn assembly. Isaiah 1 verse 16, wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes, cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Nahum 1 verse 15, Behold the mountains, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feasts, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off.